Hi, my name is Adam Newsom, and I'm from Western University in London, Ontario. I'm part of a four-member design team that's created a product that we call ICOM. ICOM stands for Intuitive Communication via Ocular Motion. It's an assistive communicative device that allows for intubated intensive care unit patients to communicate their needs to doctors using only their eyes. The motivation for this project came from a doctor at the London Health Sciences Centre. He expressed his concern to us that communication with patients under mechanical ventilation was very difficult for him, nurses in the ICU, and patients themselves. Although intubated patients lose their ability to speak, they typically all maintain control of their eye motion. Our product makes use of this and uses electrooculography in order to facilitate communication. Alright, so now let's take a look at how it works. So Joachim's looking at the user interface right now, and he's going to indicate to us that he wants to call his family. First, he's going to look in the top right corner in the main menu to select Please Call. Now that that option's been selected, a new menu opens up, and he's going to select My Family by looking to the right. You can see the message displayed at the top of the screen, Please Call My Family. In case the patient wants to convey a message to the doctor that's not one of the standard options in the user interface, they can spell out what they'd like to say using the alphabet and numbers menu. So here, our subject Yoakum is spelling out the word hello. You can see he simply needs to look in a certain direction to choose the letters that he wants. If the patient makes a mistake, they can press the delete button to delete a character that they don't want. As you can see from this video, within about 30 seconds, the patient's able to spell a word like hello. This communication method is more efficient than current methods and has significant socioeconomic benefits. Instead of facilitating communication between patients and doctors, nurses can spend more of their time with other important tasks, alleviating costs for hospitals. Furthermore, quality of patient care will be increased since there is little room for miscommunication and they can communicate their needs easily and quickly. A business analysis of our product shows that a business based on our design is not only feasible, but profitable as well. Thank you for viewing Western University's video abstract. We look forward to seeing you at the Canadian Engineering Competition.